In today's lecture, we are going to study spell correction. So let's first see applications of spelling correction. So we'll see uh, why and where spelling correction is important. So when you're typing in a uh, word, Microsoft Word or any other document, um, for example here, so you write component and uh, there is a mistake in this word. So a word will highlight this uh, term, intimating that there is a spelling mistake here. And um, when we are typing on phone, for example this, sorry, running, late. So there is the spelling mistake and uh, your phone will uh, give you a suggestion for this correct word late. So uh, we need to have this spell correction software in phone as well. Um, and when we talk about web search, uh, let's say we write here natural language processing. So uh, there is a mistake in this word language, uh, but uh, your browser will show results for the correct word. So it is showing results for natural language processing instead of natural language processing. Um, spelling correction is especially important in web search because users do not know uh, correct spellings most of the time. Uh, as we can see this query, uh, natural language processing, your browser needs to know if there is some mistake in the query. And then to rectify that mistake, it needs to have uh, the spelling correction mechanism in place. So um, according to some studies, uh, so we'll study now the rates of spelling errors. Uh, so it largely depends on the application. Uh, if you talk about web queries, um, there are around 26% errors in web queries. So uh, if you consider a query, then out of every four words, at least one word is misspelled. So that is a very large number. And if we talk, talk about retyping, so this was an experiment done by uh, Whitelaw. Uh, so what they did was they asked people to um, retype Wikipedia articles, but they were not allowed to use backspace. So they were retyping the already typed Wikipedia articles without using the backspace. And even after retyping, there were still 13% spelling errors there. But we are mainly concerned with this one, the errors in web queries. Um, there are two types of spelling tasks. First one is spelling error detection, um, uh, which means that first you need to detect an error. Uh, whenever there is a sentence or a query type, you need to find if there is any error in that uh, piece of text. And then the second one is uh, once you have detected the error, you need to correct the error. So uh, there is this autocorrect option available in uh, a lot of softwares. When you type HTE, it converts it to the THE. So uh, one way is to do autocorrect, but uh, not all users prefer autocorrect. So what you can do is suggest a correction. Uh, so that user can see if he or she wants to use that correction or not. Um, and the third option is to suggest a list. So instead of suggesting a single correction, you can suggest a list of corrections um, and user can choose one of uh, those words. Now, there are two types of spelling errors. First one is uh, non-word spelling errors and the second one is real word spelling errors. So uh, in non-word real spelling errors, uh, sorry, in non-word errors, um, a misspelled word is a non-word. That is, it is not a real word. Uh, consider this example. So the user wanted to write giraffe, but write uh, wrote giraffe. So this version of giraffe instead. Uh, then secondly, we have real word errors. In real word errors, user makes a mistake, but the misspelled word is also a real word. Real word. Uh, real word errors can happen in two ways. One is the typographical errors. So when you are typing, you can make a typing mistake. For example, uh, when you're writing this three, you write uh, this R after this E. So you write three as there. So you were going to write three, but you wrote there by mistake. 
and then the second one is cognitive errors so this is another way of uh, um, resulting into real world errors uh, this is this basically happens for homophones by homophones we mean uh, words which have same sounds so user only knows the sound of the word but he doesn't know the actual spellings of the word for example he wanted to write this piece and wrote this piece instead so these are these sound the same way and two as two they sound the same but they are they have different spellings so a user actually knew the pronunciation but didn't know the spellings uh, real word errors are uh, actually more tough to identify um, now we'll study uh, how we can identify both of these uh, errors and how we can correct them first we'll start with non-word spelling errors non-word spelling errors are the ones that are not real words so we'll see how we can detect them and then correct them um, as these are non-words so we can safely assume that uh, these are not present in the dictionary so if we start up with a large dictionary um, then we can compare our piece of text with this dictionary if any of the word of the text is not present in the dictionary then we can say that that word is a non-word spelling error so this is how we can detect non-word spelling errors in a piece of text um, so where do we get this dictionary uh, we cannot use web as a dictionary though uh, web has large number of terms but uh, it, it also has large number of spelling mistakes so it cannot be used as a dictionary we have to use some uh, carefully constructed dictionary to uh, identify non-word errors uh, then we'll see how we can now after we have detected the errors how we can correct them so for correction we need to generate candidates we'll see how uh, we can generate these candidates for now you just need to know that these candidates should be uh, similar to the error we'll see what we mean by similar here uh, so once we have the candidates we need to choose the best one out of those candidates so uh, for that we have two uh, ways so we can rank candidates using the uh, edit distance or uh, the noisy channel probability we'll see both of these shortly uh, 